one of those states was not North Carolina, but oh. Republican Congresswoman from North Carolina, my home state, Virginia Fox, is with us now, I think. There she is. I am. Hi, how are you all? Good. Good to see you. We appreciate you joining us. Um, tell us what the status is uh, in North Carolina and what you hope to happen uh, in the fall. Well, most of the schools in my district have been open uh, for a long, long time. Uh, some of them open uh, partially, but many of them uh, all the time now. I just got off a call with a bunch of teachers, and they were bragging about some of the schools in, in their counties. So um, we want the schools to be open. And, you know, these comments by Randy Weingarten just amuse me. Here they are saying we want the students back in the fall full time. I think she realizes that train has left already and they would better try to grab onto it because the American people want the children back in school and the unions have been the ones that have been keeping them out of school. And, and Congresswoman Fox, what about that? Do you think that the unions had a little bit too much control when it came to uh, making these decisions? Because I know a lot of teachers wanted to get back in the classroom, and I'm not sure how we're going to bring all of our students back up to speed as we re we reenter. Well, yes, the unions have had way too much control. They control the president. They control the Department of Education. They control many of the local schools. We don't have unions in North Carolina. Um, so I think it's been much better in North Carolina and places where there are no unions. But uh, I think I've said this before, the best thing that's come out of COVID has been the exposing of the unions and their control over the education system in many states. Uh, thankfully, again, we don't have them in North Carolina. We have the Education Association. Uh, they'd like to be unions, but they're not. Uh, but the unions have way, way too much control over everything that's happening in this um, administration. It's not just education. It's everywhere. The, what do you think their purpose has been? At the very best, I think everybody would say a union should look after its own workers. And they could argue they were trying to look out for the safety of their teachers, the members of the union. But when I hear it discussed by a lot of people who may know these folks better than I do, is there some other incentive? Well, they've been being paid to be at home. Uh, you know, we're seeing that with the extensive amount of money that's being paid to people for uh, not going to work, the extra unemployment benefits. So people don't want to go to work. They're staying at home. And I think that's what you're seeing here with the teachers unions. They're at home. They can do what they want. Uh, some of them are teaching a ridiculously small amount of time, if they're teaching at all. And so I think it's been very selfish. Again, I think it's exposed them for being for looking after themselves and not looking after the students, which is what they've professed over the years to do. What has North Carolina been able to do to get the children back in class successfully? Well, um, the governor there has controlled keeping the students out of schools. But the Republican uh, leaders in the legislature, I have to say, particularly Senator Deanna Ballard, who's my own senator, introduced a bill to open the schools to force the governor's hand. And suddenly the governor saw it was going to pass and decided to come to the table and work out a plan uh, with the legislature to get the students back in school on a full-time basis. So I think where you see Republican legislatures um, and you see Republican governors, you haven't had the same problem that you've had where there are Democrat governors uh, and uh, Democrat control states. All right. Well, Congresswoman Fox, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Well, thank you all for shining a light on what the unions are or are not doing, and they're having ha been on the road to Damascus all of a sudden. <laughs> well, thank you. And I like your Carolina blue jacket, by the way. <laughs> oh, thanks. And gosh, we have something in common. Yes, we, we do. We both have an English degree from Carolina. Yes, <laughs> we sure so do. there's hope for English people with English degrees. Absolutely. Right? <laughs> there is there hope. There are jobs yeah. available. All right, <laughs> thank you. If